In this video, I'm going to show you how I use one of my favorite tools. It's Drag and Dictate. And I've been using it for a while, which is good. And it helps me to be more efficient. I actually started using this a couple of years back. I fell off my bike and I cracked my elbow. And since I touch type, I touch type at about 80 words a minute, that was devastating to me. I was teaching online classes. I needed to participate in my online classes and right now it's trying to um, recognize what I'm saying so I gotta turn the microphone off it's trying to guess what I want what I want it to do all right so here I am I'm at maryhelp.net and I ha I have my own website that I use to organize lectures for my classes and I really like using this format, I'm using a content management system. I use Drupal because Drupal is a content management system that is well liked by programmers because it's highly customizable and I know how to program and I know how to make it tick and do what I want. For most people, your best bet is going to be Wix or WordPress. I'm going to do a video on Wix because I can get anybody up and using Wix in about 15 minutes. Um, WordPress, I'm willing to teach that if I get any sort of demand, in which case I'd do a whole series of videos, but I won't have that done for the initial demonstration that I'm doing this recording for. So I wanted to show you some basic things with Dragon, and I will tell you that the personal version of Dragon is just fine. Um, I got mine on sale at Amazon. Actually, I was like, okay, I got it during a before Christmas sale. And I use the basic home version, and you can see it's about $50. Um, I actually got mine on sale for $29 during a Christmas sale. So totally worth, if you figure out what your time is worth, this is totally worth buying. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to show you. This is doing something pretty complex. Um, and there's a couple ways to approach it, because I'm actually doing HTML code. Though in a blog, I can... This will recognize both HTML and non-HTML code. So here I'm writing my Teaching with Technology main page. I'm going to turn on my microphone. P tag. Okay, so it did not recognize this. And that's completely okay. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go into vocabulary. First, first I'm going to turn the microphone off. And then I'm going to go to vocabulary for a second. And I'm going to add a new word or phrase. And this is the reason that I'm doing this in some place where I typically use markup. So I'm going to put in the code, which is a P tag, paragraph tag. And I should also add, I'm going to train it, P tag. Okay, and then I'm going to train another one. And I'm going to call it close P tag. Now if you don't know what this is, it's just HTML markup for a paragraph. Close P tag. And so that's how you add custom vocabulary to Dragon. So I'm going to turn Dragon back on. P tag. And I can say correct gone P tech. P tag. Correct P tag. It's not what I want either. P tag. P tag. P 
tag. P tag. P tag. P tag. Close P tag. Close P tag. P tag. Okay, so I have it trained. Sometimes it's a little fussy. And you can tell anything that I'm saying will appear on the screen here. So what happened was it a P tag is an HTML tag and it's a little finicky learning new things that are programming code it can learn them it's much better with words but now that I have this in place I'm just going to write a paragraph that's going to go into my blog I am deeply passionate about two things colon teaching and technology, period, and P tag. Close P tag. New paragraph. P tag. I'm creating this blog to show my fellow teachers how you can use technology to improve your efficiency comma and to improve student learning period when I started taking online classes for my master's degree comma I believed that we could do better, period. Correct believe. Choose one. Close P tag. Correct close P. Close P tag. New paragraph. P tag. Correct P. P tag. I have spent the last several years trying to make technology work for teaching, period. I started teaching online in 2004, comma, and have read and studied and experimented to try and figure out the most effective way to teach online. Period. I have come to the conclusion that there isn't one. Period. There are good practices, comma, but it takes different approaches to reach different students, period. Technology can help reach more students, period. I have found that adding 
demonstration videos that replace or supplement my live lectures. or supplement helps improve student learning, period. Close P tag. New paragraph. Okay, so this isn't perfect, but usually I'm going to transfer this and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to proof and then I actually on my website I have my niece hired for her phone bill to um, go through and proof for me because it's just really not my thing so I have different things I can do here but here I'm just going to hit um, my publishing options promote it to the front page and this is actually the top of a book level and hit save. So now on my website, I have just done this using drag and dictate. Now what I've found is that the longer you use your drag and dictate software, the more accurate it gets. I find it really useful in discussion boards because I talk more and I provide better information to my students. If I'm writing responses, I tend to be at two or three lines. If I'm talking my responses, I tend to be at two or three paragraphs, so my students get more good information. So Drag and Dictate is one of my favorite tools. Now you do need to know that if you have Windows, Drag and Dictate is not your only choice. Windows has built-in voice recognition software. I think they're running about five years behind Dragon as far as quality right now. So that was a quick demonstration. Um, just be prepared. It's sort of like when you learn to touch type, you have to unlearn hunting and pecking. You're going to have to learn to talk a little slower, be clearer, and you're going to have to spend a little bit of time training Dragon. It usually takes me about a month, and this is right after Christmas, and I got this for Christmas. I have one on my Mac that's a little bit better trained. Um, I have not put all my HTML tags into this one yet but usually I have it trained where I'm really happy with it in four to six weeks and then I pretty much don't add a lot of vocabulary after that. If you do change computers you can take your um, profile with you which makes it handy when you train the next one and I'm finding that each version of Dragon is more accurate and more useful. So this is my first technology entry and I've got to tell you Dragon Dictate is one of my favorite toys. I mean tools. Toys. Eh, same thing.